Hey, this time we're going to go ahead and do molar mass conversions. This is explanation number two. But remember, when we're going to convert, kind of leading through molar mass and kind of getting into stoichiometry, we're converting between moles and mass, molecules, and volume. And you'll see this right here on the first page of your packet. Or not the first page, but the first, it'll be the formula sheet. It's uh, like on the back of the periodic table, uh, down near the bottom, or kind of just opposite that page. Uh, and what it is, it's telling you that one mole, right here, one mole is equal to Avogadro's number, which is this number right here, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And it has a unit of either atoms, molecules, or formula units. And that is equal to the molar mass in grams of whether it's an atom or whether it, you know an element or a compound. So an example would be that if it was carbon, it would be 12. So carbon would weigh 12 grams for one mole. And that would also equal 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now, if it was a gas, this is what the gas would equal. Uh, one mole would equal 22.4 liters. And that's if the gas was at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure. So let's go ahead and look at these problems right here, which are similar to each other. And it says how many molecules are in 394.0 grams of iron one sulfate. So a couple things that you need to do is since I have it in grams, we're going to need the molar mass. Since I have it in molecules, we're going to use this number right here that I already have highlighted. Okay, along with the unit of molecules. Okay, but that's going to be of iron one sulfate. Now we have to calculate out the molar mass first of iron one sulfate. So we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of room. And we're going to come just above this. And we're going to look at what is the charge of iron. Well, the Roman numeral, this is the type 2 polyatomic uh, compound. And so the Roman numeral tells us the charge of the iron. So we know that that's going to be a, a plus one. Now sulfate, if I get over to sulfate, we got to figure out what the charge of sulfate is. How do we do that? Well, we go to our packet and we click on our packet and we scroll all the way down to the bottom of our packet and find our polyatomic ion sheet. Now again, it's there for a reason. We find sulfate. And if I scroll down right here is sulfate. So it's SO4, but it's a negative 2. So let's go back to our question. And so we know that that's going to be a negative 2. And they do not cancel each other out. So that means we have to use the crisscross method, flip-flop them. And we're going to put a, a, a 2 over here. And I would like to put it down here, 2. And then we're going to put a 1 over here, 1. Now, again, when we write this out, we don't have to put the 1 down. So we know that, and I'm just going to go over to the side, that iron is, the symbol for iron is Fe. Now, if we again, we can figure that out by going iron, going to our periodic table. Right here is iron, Fe. Go back to our packet. So it's Fe with a subscript of 2. And then sulfate, if you remember, we did that, that it was SO4. So SO4 subscript of four. Now, I don't, I, I, since I only have one of them, right, only one, I do not need to put that in parentheses, and I'm done with that one. So we're going to use this, uh, and I'm going to cut and paste that with that with these numbers right here. So now we got to convert from this number right here. So we have to go ahead and put, we're going to go ahead and put 394.0 grams of iron one sulfate. So we're going to copy this. Okay. Copy. There we go. Now we can move that back over. And we're going to paste it right here. Okay. Once I have that, again, because we're going to use it in conversion, as we learned in our uh, conversion factors and everything else, we have to put times in a line. So we're going to put a time symbol, and then we're going to put our, uh, our line. We have to figure out what are we going to put on the bottom. So we'll move this down just a little bit. Now, whatever unit we start off with, we're going to put this on the bottom. 
So I'm going to copy this right here, and we're going to copy it, and I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'm going to paste it right there. Now, one thing about this, remember that I this is the molar mass. So remember, when we're using this up here, so whenever I have it in grams, we're using the molar mass in grams. So we have to figure out what the molar mass of iron 1 sulfate or sulfate is. So we're going to come over here, and I'm going to repaste this again. We're going to paste that. I'm going to get rid of this, and we're going to put down everything that we have. So I have iron, I have Fe, and I have two of them. I have sulfur, and we only have one of them. I have oxygen, and we have four of them, right? So we're going to multiply this by the weight. So I'm going to do this. Now, again, if you know what they are, that's good. I mean, I know what oxygen is. It's 16. Okay, I believe that sulfur is going to be 32. Um, iron, I think, is 56, but let's go back and look. So how do we go back and look? We go back to the periodic table. We look at iron. It is 56, so we'll go back to our other stuff. We know that that's going to be 56. And then we can go down and equal these. Okay, and so 56, I'm going to pull up the calculator. Let's get rid of that. So 56 times 2 equals 112. So I know that this is going to be 112. 32 times 1 is 32. And 16 times 4 is 64. And again, we can double check these. So 16 times 4 equals 64. That one's pretty obvious. But did we double check that sulfur was 32 and oxygen was 16? So let's Go right back to our periodic table. Oxygen is 16, sulfur is 32, so that's good. And now what do we have to do? We have to figure out the molar mass. So the molar mass is equal to all of these things added up. So let's go ahead and add those up. So we have 112 plus 32 plus 64 equals 208. Let's double check that. 112 plus 32 plus 64 equals 208. So we know that 208 grams and that's what our molar mass is. So we're going to go ahead and take this 208 right here, right here, that, and we're going to place it right there because that's the molar mass. So it's 208. Now here's the next thing is we're looking for how many molecules. So I have to go up here. What number goes with molecules? Is it one mole? The molar mass we already used, it's not 22.4 liters. It must be Avogadro's number. So we're going to take this number right here, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it right here. Okay. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to underline this. Okay. And so at the end here, we're going to go ahead and say that that was molecules, right? Because we have a molecule right here. Okay, we could say formula units. That would work too. But we're just going to say molecules. Okay. And so there's that part right there. Now we have to, uh, that's how many molecules we have. We have to get rid of anything that we can get rid of. So I have grams of iron 1 sulfate right here and grams of iron 1 sulfate right there. So we're going to go ahead and just strike through those to get rid of them. And again, you have to do this. You have to show it. So I know that I'm going to end with molecules. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my equal sign. And we're going to run over here. We know that we're going to end with molecules. Oops. Molecules. Uh, but we're also, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take this part right here and just put it on the end. So I'm going to put times 10 to the 23rd. Okay. 
And so we're just going to do the math. We're going to do this times the top divided by the bottom. So let's go ahead and do the math. And then we'll adjust on our times 10 to the 23 after we get the answer. It's the easiest way to do it for me because I don't like working with a calculator that doesn't have exponents. I mean, I, it's easier just to do it this way. Uh, so we're going to 394, and we're going to multiply that by 6.022, and then we're going to divide that by 208. And that's going to equal 11.407. So we're going to put that down in here, 11.407. Okay. Now again, we have, now we have to go ahead and say we have it. That's molecules of what? And we know that it's going to be this right here. So we'll add that a little bit. But we want to fix this because this is wrong. Now remember, we have to do two things to it. We have to put it in the correct number of significant figures, which is four because that zero is significant because there's a decimal. It's trailing and there's a decimal. <coughs> and we have to make sure that it's written correctly. So let's go ahead and uh, change this real quick. There's four right there, right? So we're going to go ahead and that seven says we have to round up. So we're going to get rid of that, back that up, put that there. There's our number there. Now we have to move the decimal over one place. So we have to move it from here to there. So if I put a decimal there and get rid of this one, we made this number smaller by one place, which means we have to make this number larger by one number. So instead of 23, we're going to be 24. Okay, so I'm going to copy this again. Let's see if I can do this right. We'll copy this again. And I'm just going to come over this way and put it down here. And I'm going to paste it right there. Now, there's a reason I'm going to paste it right there because we're not done with it, because we have to put uh, something after that. It's molecules of what? Well, it's iron one sulfate. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to just paste it right there. Now there's our final answer. We'll highlight that. And we will highlight this, move that around. Jeez. We're going to highlight that. I like green. And that would be our final answer. So we showed all the work. We show how we got the nomenclature We uh, for that. We crisscrossed on that. We set it up with what we start off at the beginning. We went from grams to molecules. Remember, when we're just doing one step before we get to stoichiometry with molar, we're just doing one step. So whatever we start off with, the, that unit goes on bottom. The one we're looking for goes on top. Because that way we can get rid of the one that, we're, that we started with and end with the one unit that we're looking for. Okay. So again, we put that there. My suggestion is you put this uh, Fe2SO4 right here, and then we'll know that it fits there at the end. Hey, that's how we did that one. Let's go to the next one right below it. The next one below it says how many moles are in that same number of stuff and we're going to use some of the information from above so let's put this back over here uh matter of fact let's just drop it down to the bottom just a little bit there we go so we're going to go ahead and and and, and type this in we're going to use some of the stuff up above so it says how many moles are in this so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in that's number right here 394.0 and that's grams of and we're going to paste that in there. We already had that before. And then again, what are we going to do? We're going to put our times in line. Now, because we're starting off with grams of SO4, we're going to use grams of SO4. That's the molar mass. Okay, so we're going to go back up here, and we're going to copy this right here because that's what it was, or actually this one right here. So we're going to copy this one, and that's the molar mass, and we're going to place that on bottom. I'm going to paste it right there. Now, what goes on top? Well, we're looking for moles. Well, the molar mass, this is the molar mass, is equal to how many moles? Well, if we go back up to the beginning, the molar mass in grams is equal to one mole. So we're going to go back in here, and we're going to put right here one mole, and then we're going to put up F-E-2. 
SO4. And then we'll put our equal sign. And again, because this is a fraction, it's a uh, conversion factor, we're going to go ahead and underline that. And so now what can we do? We can get rid of our grams of SO4, of Fe to F SO4. Okay, we'll strike through that. And we'll do the same thing with the one on bottom. Again, because we have them on top and bottom, we can get rid of them. Now I'm left with moles of, of uh, Fe2, SO4. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and copy that just real quick. And I know that it's going to be here at the end. So we're going to paste it, and then I'm going to un underline it. So we'll get rid of that. Now what goes right here, I have to do the math now. So we're going to take this number, multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So if I pull up the calculator and we put that in there, we're going to have 394.0. And we don't have to do the 1, right? Let me just put this over there. Strength your part. Okay. So uh, let's go back to the calculator. We're at 394, and we're going to divide that by 208 because that's the molar mass of that. And it tells us we have 1.894. So I'm going to put that in there. 1.894. I need to do that other than the next one after that. After the 4, we have a 2. We can put 2. Oops. We can put two, three. So we have it there. Okay. So we have it. That's good. But we got to know how many significant figures. We go back up to the original problem. The original problem said that we had four significant figures. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Put my line there. The two says we drop that off. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And there's our answer. We have it in the correct number of significant figures. We have our problems. We're going to go ahead and highlight it. Uh, highlight it in green, and there's our answer. Hopefully you uh, understood how to do this, and this helped you out. And we can do this with any combination of these up here because, again, these up here are all equal to each other. And that means I can you put any one on top or any one on bottom. The only one that I really have to worry about calculating out is the molar mass in grams, but we showed you how to do that. The molar mass in grams is right here. This is how we figured, calculated it out for iron 2 or iron 1 sulfate. Hey, as always, go Mohawks. Nelson out.